Well, hello, hey, uh, this is a tutorial video. Uh, this is my first video actually with my voice in it, so sorry if I sound weird or awkward. But I'll be showing you how to draw a dog on Adobe Illustrator. Not Adobe Illustrator for the PC, but on the iPad. There's, it's an app, Adobe, of Adobe Draw, If, in case you're not familiar with it. It's a pretty cool app. Uh, this is the this is what you see when you start using it. It's called Adobe Draw, and it might seem simple and uh, limiting, but let me show you. Let me let me show you what it's about, what it's all about, and hope you like it. Let's get into this. So what you just saw is me setting up. I, I turned on gestures only in preferences, so that you can see a little cursor when I draw. Now I'm starting to make an outline, which is what you want to do to prepare for for drawing a a nice clean looking professional looking illustration this is i spit it up a little bit so you don't have to sit through me slowly drawing everything so this is what you want to do you want to do an outline of everything you of what you want to achieve so let me let me do a little changes all right look this is pre-recorded so maybe skipping through a little a few clips because I have a lot of footage. So this is what you want to do. You want to have a nice outline. What you need to do to make it look good is to look at some reference photos. So that's what I did. I had to do this many times. So let's look up pugs. That's what you do. You look up what you want to draw. Not that, not that, that that's Godzilla. No one cares about that. But this is what you want to do. And I had to do this various times. I had to, I had to take one in and save it to to my files so that I could reference it later. And having a reference photo uh, at hand is pretty handy because that'll make coloring it in easier later. So we go back to the outline, to the app, and start making a few changes. Just to give yourself an idea of what you want to achieve and how you want it to look, I'm gonna do it looking forward. This is, I'm gonna draw a pug. I've never drawn a pug before. But that's why I did this. I want to do this, do this together. So let's let's keep going through this, make some changes. And I had to do, do this many times so you can make your scribbles, you know, to give yourself an idea. And then later on, you can refine it and fix it. I did a little bit, something a little bit different, but I'll, I'll show you in a bit. It, it's useful. I hope you like it. Let, let's see. When does this stop okay look you saw i just skipped to a different clip and this is a new page it was getting hard for me to just leave it leave all the work on the ipad so what i did is what i'm showing you i'm importing a photo check this out i i did most of the work on paper i just got off this tablet i took a break and i did some of the work on paper this is my attempt at a pug. Now I thought at the time of me doing this, I thought that I had it good. But no, this isn't even remotely what a pug looks like. I wasn't paying attention. So so watch, this, this is a, a trick you can do. You can import a photo, then make a, a new layer, and then outline it, you know? This is how you can get a nice crisp looking illustration it, it can look pretty nice if you if you did it right but this is just how i like to do it because it just gave me that authentic feel of using the paper so i recommend you do it so this clip is when yes this is when i added a few more layers after i did the outline you can see i i already finished the main shape of the dog uh, I added a few layers so that I could do the nose and the snout the, and the wrinkles, the eyes, and that's what you want to do. You don't want to ruin something you already did right or that you liked. So that's why layers are super important. That's what you want to make sure you have enough layers, but not too many. Don't try to make too many because on this app you only get 20, 20 layers per project. So, so be mindful of that. Don't, don't use them all <laughs> so you want to have that flexibility so 
you can see I'm using the layers I'm dedicating time to fix them up and uh, sometimes some of your some of your strokes may be out of line so do what I'm doing right here zoom in uh, with the eraser tool use that use that tool to make it look good to smooth things out and dedicate time to to fix everything up make it look nice and remember uh, dedicate a, a, a layer to to some of the details like the like the wrinkles that I'm doing right now and the eyes and everything else and the colors make sure you add some colors to make dedicate a layer to each color now see what I'm doing here I I just went to the to the top menu and to the shapes icon and I selected the circular tool now with the circular circular tool you tap in you tap twice in the middle and it gives you a perfect circle that's really useful you see very convenient too because pugs actually have almost perfectly circular eyes and I'm looking at this now and I realize that my dog is tilted to the left it's no problem I think it looks good so see dedicate time to each layer and the details in it so now the outline is done and it's time for some color now you see look at the right um, importing a photo you remember the reference photo there we go that's my reference photo that's what I'm gonna use to get my colors I'll show you how let me just uh, yeah okay it's fixed up that's where I want it so what we're gonna do pick the brush I'm gonna use the basic round brush for this whole thing what I did was pick the basic round brush and I'm gonna click and hold on the color button you see what I did now I'm gonna drag it and then let go over the color that I want that so that's what you want to do you want to click drag and then let go so that you get the color that you want and you repeat this you know dedicate a layer to each color you don't you can't get every detail as as uh, much as you would like this is more of a simpler illustration just to make it look good but it's gonna look really good it's gonna look detailed and everything but not gonna have all the details that maybe a painter or you know uh, you could all those details that you could get well sketching on paper it's gonna look good anyway now to color it in you can see what I'm doing I'm making an outline of the area that I want to fill in with color so and I have a dedicated layer to this and see I held I clicked and held it inside of the area where I wanted to fill in with color I don't know if you I don't know if you understood that the just make an outline of the area you want to fill in and then click and hold inside of that area and then the color will fill in right that's called that's called the eyedropper tool when you when you get the color that you want from a reference photo that's called the eyedropper tool and that's a useful trick that I learned that's built into the app now see after a while of coloring it in I have this now this isn't uh, this isn't good enough I had to make some more changes I had to repeat the steps that I'm showing you various times on over the course of maybe a whole a whole week at this point in the in the drawing at this point in the process of the drawing I I had to make some more changes but let me show you let me show you some of the preferences there's some you can move the toolbar you can make the stroke smooth after you draw a stroke then you can turn on gestures only it's just useful so that you don't draw with your finger that that can be kind of annoying if you try out the app you'll see what I mean later now look what I'm doing here I'm zooming in I'm getting my eraser ready because I have to make some changes to the outline of of my dog of my pug so I'm not just some regular changes I'm gonna have to redo the whole the entirety of the legs I have to redo the torso and I'm gonna show you how to do that easily make some changes to the drawing that you want that you that you're putting your heart into really because it, for me it took me a while and I really like doing this so I'm gonna show you how to avoid the stress of 
of probably ruining your hard work. Now, see what I did right now? If you look to the right, I made a layer over the outline, the main outline. Remember that if you didn't already notice, the, the layer highlighted in orange is the one that I'm working on. That's the one I selected. So that's what you need to do. Well, that's what I find easier. I don't know if you can do this any other way, but when you want to make some changes, I recommend, especially to the main outline of your drawing, make an extra layer. Make a layer where you can scribble, where you can experiment. If you have an idea in your head and it, you think it might look good, make an extra layer and scribble on it just for fun. You know, this. if you're not having fun, then don't do this or take a break and continue later. That's what I had to do because it took me a while. So back on my l empty layer, you see that layer I just selected is over my main outline layer. I'm going to start scribbling. That's that's where the changes are going to happen. And that's how I managed to get a good result at the end. See, I skipped to the clip where I just skipped to the clip where I made the changes and I've been scribbling. Look what I'm what I'm doing right now. Uh, that's all I did. I, I started scribbling, uh, imagining how it could look better. And of course, I had to I had to look at various reference photos to get this right because I've never drawn a pug before. And apparently pugs are very complicated for me sometimes i overthink things i invite you to to plan ahead <laughs> maybe maybe you don't need to look at things various times to get it right but i do and that's what i did i did some scribbles and and when you have your scribbles and <laughs> your scribble scribbly outline done you can go back to your main outline layer like i'm doing right now and draw the the lines that you want to keep you you can draw the strokes that you're going to keep that you're going to refine and make them your main outline see i'm drawing under my scribbles so that i can have a nice clean path of strokes i'll show you in a bit yeah, and, and you can see I sped it up again because, well, I'm kind of slow when drawing. <laughs> I wanna, I want everything to be, to be very detailed and nice, right? You know, I'm sure you can do this better. But these are just some tips I want to share with you. I'm no, I'm not a professional, professional or anything. You see, after I did all that, I have this nice, crisp-looking dog. But at this point, I still don't have the progress that I need now let me let's focus on this first after you have all the coloring and the outlining done uh, it's time for some shading well what's shading shading is basically adding some nice three dimensionality to to your drawing basically giving it some shadows like in real life you don't have to be too detailed about it but just where you think, just imagine where light won't touch. Now, you may have to observe a few things in real life around you to get this right. But you see, I, I skipped to the clip where where I, I finished and see, now it looks way better. At this point, you're looking at how it looked, how it looked like I, at the last clip. It looks more like a bold mastiff and I had to make various changes, I had to repeat the steps that I just showed you various times. I'll show you the result in a bit of all my hard work over the course of one whole week. And I just want to say thank you for watching this video. It's my first time doing a voiceover or whatever this is called. Okay, this is the final result of a week's worth of drawing on a tablet. Uh, I had to make various changes, make the head smaller, change the snout, the nose, the legs, everything. That's what I managed to do. Hopefully you enjoyed my, my little video. I hope you mm, feel confident enough to check it out. Check out this app. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.